Hello. I is back. I don't know how this is gonna go because I've had dodgy internet for two weeks. My camera's still having issues. Everything's still having issues, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, painting is not going to cause things to shut down on me, but we'll find out. Yeah, I have a big white box in the background that's in the way. Sorry, just chucked it there. <laughs> My new little photo box. It's what? <laughs> to put photos of things on my website. <laughs> New toys. Oh, I better not put that down on the ground. Izzy will think it's a bed. It's not a bed, baby. It's not. I hope everybody's doing well. I thought being artsy will be good because if anybody is up for a chat, I can chat. But we'll see. I've been being very creative off stream lately. I painted a Christmas tree, not that one. That one's just me little metal Christmas tree. Oh, you know what? I forgot my glass, my cup, my water cup. Ooh. Hi, Fluffy. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, you burp. You're purple now. Did anybody else hear that or was it just me? Because my computer just made it sound like I was playing Power Wash Simulator and I'm not. I, 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 I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay. So weird. So I was going to play a game. Um, and they all need updating because I literally have not turned my computer on in two weeks. <laughs> because I just needed a break from pretty much everything. Um, thanks, Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy. You're, you're okay, but you've had a tough day. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry you've had a rough day. I am probably not going to stream very long tonight because I have to go and have like not quite a job interview but it's like a meet and greet for a job that I've applied for so now that I have an end date I'm actually That's the hissing that I was talking about. I don't know what's wrong. It did it last time I was playing, but I was playing Power Wash Simulator, so I just assumed that it was the game. But it's happening and I have zero games open. I'm so confused. If it happens again, I'm just going to cut my losses and stop. This one? This one is always delayed and it's getting worse and worse and I, I've given up on trying to figure out why. I've honestly just given up on trying to fix everything because it just keeps going wrong. The face one should be fine. It's showing up fine to me. This one's super delayed. 
I just redid it though, so. I don't know how to fix things. You know, if, if it stopped, if it's not working tonight, then I'm probably just going to call it quits and... I don't know what to do to fix anything, so... I don't know what I'm going to do. The only thing that I could think of that was causing problems was the fact that my internet got moved so far away and I've been having trouble connecting. I thought that that had been fixed. Um, because I've got the Ethernet cable, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh. Sorry. Hey, Ostro, how you going? Thanks for popping in. I'm just a little stressed because everybody's telling me everything's gone wrong already. <laughs> I'm just stressed because the... Everything shut down on the stream anniversary at the end of the night. Everything just went, fuck it, I'm over it. And now, I spent a couple of days trying to fix everything, and I thought I had, and it's still not working, apparently. It just makes me a little bit sad. It's fine. It's fine. How are you doing? Um, I don't know why the sound is cutting off though. I'm not sure what's causing that. Oh, I see what you mean. Did a box just show up? I just saw there was like a box. Okay, I don't know what's going on. It should be Thank you for the 13 long months of subscribing, Ratchet. Hi, my most beautiful smidgy. Throwing a lurk because... Work. I love your face off your face holder. You're awesome. Keep that shit up. I'm sorry, I don't know what's causing... I love you too, Rach. I can't handle that noise. If it keeps doing it, I won't be able to keep going. Sorry, guys. Thank you so much for this resub, Rachy, and I love your face right off your face holder too. Where did I put them? Over here, look. Yeah, look at something cute because everything else is going wrong. Is he? Look. <laughs> Should be a Christmas cat? Is you a Christmas cat? Look up. <laughs> You're like, looky, look at me, I'm a Christmas cat. Okay, okay, okay. I do think it's funny that it lights up. She loves it, Rach, look. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with my sound. Um, I'm sorry if it, there is issues with my headset crackling and stuff. Um, I apologize. Um, I didn't actually know that was a problem. Um, unless my headset's a headset has cracked it. I can't imagine it would have.
You are so soft, cat. <laughs> it's okay, Rach. You never have to get me anything. I never ex expect anything. You don't have to get me things. But I know you have. But I appreciate you. Okay. Love you too. Have fun. Bye. Shall we try and actually do something, Miss Izzy? Without everything shutting down? Yeah. Ostro? No, I'm Sorry, I just I needed to do I something. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, the headset's not even a year old. It shouldn't be causing these issues. I mean, it is a year old now. Sorry. You would think for how much, how friggin' expensive they are, they you wouldn't have these kinds of issues. this button there we go now that camera is delayed again oh wrong camera this one what what did you do did you fix it or did you have to stop using the headset I'm curious I've never had issues with Logitech stuff before Now it feels like it's just going, fuck you. <laughs> you stop using it. All right, I'm going to go be right back and mute myself and see if I can Google what the problem is because I can't keep doing this. I tend to always play it a second half. <laughs> Welcome to the Phasma Astrology stream. I'm getting oh, I can see clouds. Yay. I'm, I'm waiting for a UFO to pass us by.
Yeah, your head is missing. Oh yeah, you're back completely. I can't stop laughing. I'm riding my beaver. I'm riding my beaver. I'm riding my beaver, and she's right, and he's a riding along on my beaver. Riding along on my beaver, and it can go for a swim. I swim a dim a dim a dim a dim a dim a dim, and I'm riding my beaver. I'm riding my beaver, and happy as can be, just riding my beaver. After I stole all its wood, and then I shot it with arrows. And then I fed it some, fed it some stuff to make it mine. And now I'm riding my beaver. Because it's my beaver. <laughs> it's the best. to clip this it's so funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> the best thing ever <laughs> I need to pee. <laughs> yeah, that was perfectly timed, Helena. <laughs> I said I needed to pee, and she went, do do do. Run, Smiley, run. No, I'm gonna die. It's in the classroom. I know. I... Um, Marky got the photo, I think. I'm dead. <laughs> no, it was me. A spectacular death because I didn't even turn away from the window. Oh my god, my head! <laughs> oh my god, that looks so uncomfortable. My, my head is in the wall! What the? That is actually, no, what? this is amazing. It looks like you fell. <laughs> Birthday monkey! So cute! I know, you're gorgeous. I wish I pet you. There's no... Just white blobs of mist. It's wild. There's no fingerprints. You need to take a photo for me, because I don't... You know what? I get the hungry. Fuck! Holy fool. You smell like poo. Mackie, you'll be like, well, I'm glad you're there and not here. If you smell like poo. Mackie. 
Maki says, Happy Easter, Izzy. Izzy doesn't eat chocolate because she's a cat. And cats can't eat chocolate. Oh. I come from the Isn't land down, down under. Australian. Where women Where glow, glow and, men and men plunder. Can you hear, can you hear the thunder? Oh God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh God! Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> we, should have, we still haven't got the spirit! Yeah. I got it! I got it! There's a different um, miles I could think of. World of War Crack. Well, World of War Crack. I haven't heard of that one lately. I like it, I like it. <laughs> it's a good name. <laughs> It's 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 the new expansion to World of Warcraft, <laughs> World of Warcraft. <laughs> Just like World of Warcraft, but with the munchies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, what have we got here? We've got EMF reader, photo of a ghost, sleepy train. Well, this is how I feel about that. <coughs> <laughs> and I can't even shut the door. Oh my god, I'm a terrible hider. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Oh Hello, I'm here! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Your arm is in the other side. Uh oh, what? Am I not seeing something and something happened? <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's like, Grandma, we're taking you home. We, we're done here. I wish you'd get my suit, and I didn't know she was <laughs> Show yourself. Um, What's the ghost's name again? Um. Are you okay? <laughs> Stephen Brown. I'm pretty sure I need the toilet now. <laughs> Stephen Is Brown, you show yourself. <laughs> The toilet looks like it belongs to a human, like a giant human. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my God. Just lay in the back tap. I know. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's working. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. I've just changed the USB. We'll see what happens. If it does it again, I don't know what I'm going to do. I definitely don't have money to spend another, like, 300 bucks on the sa on a pair of headphones, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. How you doing, Nixie? <sighs> I'm having technical issues. And I still forgot to go get my glass, my cup that I put water in. <laughs> Thanks, Ostro. I'm just... The last thing I wanted was to have a break and then come back and be stressed about this, especially today. Anyway. Ah, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Finally finished a paint by numbers that I needed to get done for a Christmas present next weekend. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's down there. <laughs> I've done lots of art stuffs off stream lately. <laughs> I'm just getting some watercolour pads. Um, yes, that's one. <laughs> I don't know where one of them's gone. How are you doing, Nix? I was going to message you um, before and then I got got stuck into setting up my stream and forgot. There it is. Stressing over tomorrow. I'm imagining. Kind of lurking, but not at the same time. All good. Um, yeah, I can imagine. I'm stressing about tomorrow, but different reason. <laughs> Anxious, excited is more my my issue. Um, but I hope everything goes well tomorrow. I know that it's a big thing, so hopefully it all goes well and you can have this part of everything over and done with and you don't have to think about it again. I know, they're all here, I don't know what I'm thinking. But yes, I, I do hope everything goes well tomorrow, Nix. Uh, I'll, I'll message you. Well, I was just going to message you and say exactly that, that I hope everything goes well. And if you need anything while you're recovering, let me know. Whoops. Oh, I've been watching the new season. Well, actually, I've been watching... I'm the type of person who, like, if there's a new series of a TV show, I actually go back and watch all of it and then the new series. I can't just, like, start out and watch the new series. <laughs> this new season, I should say. So I've just re-watched all of um, Lost in Space and now I'm up to the new season and I was literally like on the edge of my seat and I'm like, no, I have to stop now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, any situation should be better than mine when I was there for ridiculous o'clock <laughs> from like 7 a.m. to 5, 8, 5 p.m. That is not a normal situation. And I was a public patient. And I believe you told me that you're private. If not, it should be different. It shouldn't be like that anyway. And that was the only surgery that I had issues. <laughs> but now nah, you should be fine. But yes. Oh, you did go public. Well, I'm sure it will be fine anyway. Everybody else that was in there got into their surgeries pretty quickly. Mine just happened to, you know, be a bit funny. But it's fine. It, you know, it still went ahead and it was still done. So nothing to really stress about. It was just a long wait in the hospital. <laughs> oh, no. That sucks. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go grab my cup of water. I forgot it. And then um, I'll be back.
Oh, tell me about the COVID testing. Did you have to go to the hospital? Last time I went, they didn't make me get tested. The last surgery I had, but all the ones before that they did. So I've got some stencils that I, I've seen that I thought I might buy a stencil and see if I could do like one of my watercolour paintings and then um, do the stencil over the top or something and see how that looks. Right now I don't know what I'm going to do. You had to go to the hospital and the instructions were go to this particular setup and you need this queue get there and there's only one queue the one for symptomatic oh no that sucks don't quite know what I'm doing we'll figure it out yeah that's not cool <laughs> That sucks as well, like that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Gosh. Did you end up seeing a tiny sign on a door past the queue that mentioned Priya? So I cut across all the sick people. Yeah, good, good plan. <laughs> Where did you have to go? What hospital? I mean, I don't need to know all the specifics, just, you know, curiosity. <laughs> Kind of cool. I don't think that's long enough. Or maybe. Someone comes out soon. Oh, I hate that. That's like, I know that this is not like that at all. But it's just like when someone gives you a smart ass response or something and you're like, did you even hear me? So I was at Woolies the other day and I went up and there was no none of the small trolleys and I'm standing there going, oh, someone should bring some in soon. They're normally trolley guys around anyway. And then I saw my, and then I went, oh, I'll just go out and get one from outside. And there was about five other people leaving the store to go get one. So I went, oh, I'll let them know that they need to get someone to go get them. And the lady's like, we have a trolley guy. And then walked off. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, they need to be more organized, but they should have done it beforehand. That's crazy. They're trying to make you feel silly because you're like, ah, it's not working out there. And then they're like, oh, now it is. I just realized I've still got the sound off. There we go. I'm kind of cold and then not cold and then cold and then not cold. Uh, Box Hill. Um, 
Box Hill Hospital, okay. Yeah, thankfully I never had to go to Box Hill. Thankfully. I went to... First surgery was Dandenong. Second was... Jesse Mack. At Monash. And then... The third one was at Berwick. At St. John of God. Which was the emotional one. And then Dandy, the last one was at Dandenong. So it finished. It started and finished at Dandenong. So I took it as a good sign. Ah. Yeah, I don't know anything about Box Hill. Uh, Gary had his knee done at Box Hill. But he was at the private hospital. So he was at um, at the, what is it? The private one. Starts with an E, I think. <laughs> My brain, brain failure. I haven't done any watercolors in ages. Oh, oh shit, that's a bit dangerous. Epworth, that's the name. Here I am trying to get a pen out and this is sticking up like that. No, thank you, Stanley Knife. <laughs> Put you somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's where Gary had his knee done. And funnily, not really funny, but funny. Coincidental is the right word. Um, the day that I had my emergency surgery was also the day that Gary had his knee replacement. So, And it was the day before mum's birthday that year. So... <laughs> <laughs> so it was like mum on her birthday was going from one hospital to another like Dandenong and Box Hill it was it was, it was poor poor mum <laughs> so she spent her birthday traveling between hospitals I haven't painted in so long. Oh, Nix, did you, you missed it. I bought a photo box from Kmart. It was like $18 or something ridiculously cheap. And it's not bad. Um, oh, I'm waiting for so many things to dry at the moment. For like photographing my art to sell. Look at this thing. It's just a white box. With a light at the top that you turn on and it shines over the item. I think it's kind of funky. And it comes with a white and black background. So when I'm taking photos of things in uh, UV, I can have the back, the black drop, the black backdrop. And when I'm taking the normal photos, I can use the white one. I also made a Christ my Christmas tree, which I'm super excited about. Oh, not sure what I'm going to do here. Just wing it. But yeah, it's, um, it wasn't that expensive. It was just from um, Kmart. And Aldi do have one coming up on sale this weekend. But it's actually smaller than the Kmart one. The Kmart one is 30 by 30. And I think the Aldi one's like 23 by 23. But Aldi do have like green screens and... Like this little, like a green screen that will pop up behind your computer and stuff like that coming up in their next sale. 
think that might be too much of the same. It looks exactly the same. Oops, a daisy. bits and pieces here and there I'm really yeah little bit little um, nervous excited about this it's not quite a job interview it's a meet and greet for a job that I've applied for um, tomorrow. I'm kind of excited about that because it's like a job completely out of the box for me. Like, completely out of the box. <laughs> like, totally something no one would ever think of me doing. <laughs> so, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited. I really, I think it'll be really good. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All exciting. Basically, the moment I had an end date for work, I knew I could start applying for jobs. Thanks, Nick. I'm excited. I have, I have like an interesting job history. I have my current job, which is records. My job before that was at a, a service station. <laughs> the job before that was, um, an office in like a call center ish type role, but not quite. Um, then another call center, but I, I did like the inventory side of the company. I started in the call center and then went on to do like inventory stuff. So like I've got different things under my belt. Um, and then this is something that doesn't relate to anything I've done before. And it's... um. It's a, it's a new, so it's called the, um, Female Driving Academy, and it's, um, like, garbage truck driving. <laughs> I'm like, that would just be interesting, it would be a cool job. Um, but they're trying to get, like, women into the field, because there's not a lot of women drive, people, women that drive trucks in, in that industry. So I'm like, I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> so I think that it will be kind of funky. I'm, I'm kind of excited. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but yeah. Thanks, Nix. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing all about it. And then I have to give a one minute presentation, which... I know it seems like completely weird because here I am streaming for the world to see, but a one minute presentation <laughs> just is so daunting. <laughs> fine, I was trying to maybe see if I could do it one color. I think it'll be too plain with just the one color. So I added a little bit of green. It's all right. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. There we go.
this, but now you can see it. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Let's just give it a shot. Anyway, I think it'll be interesting. <laughs> Completely not what I thought I would even go for because I was totally 100% expecting to try and go for a work from home type job. I, but I also like the idea of being out on the road and because that's like my my calming place <laughs> so anything could happen but, but it'd be interesting to see My camera's still having issues because I'm not looking at the screen the whole time to see it. Maybe a little bit of black, I think. Like if I add the little bits here and there to separate colors and things. also going into the office on Friday because even though I don't really feel necessarily in the spirit for Christmas as a work Christmas party not that I really want to be involved in that team much but the people that I have direct contact with I really like and I really want to, you know, be able to meet them in person and actually take the opportunity to meet them in person before, like, there, you know, before, you know, there aren't those opportunities anymore because I won't be there. So, um, I'm doing that on Friday. So, my Thursday night stream probably won't be very long either because I'll have to go into the office the next day. So,. Kind of exciting. Bra Brom? Brom? Brom the Nat One the Nat One Digital Artist. Hello Brom. Thanks for popping in. Not doing any digital art tonight, just like, just some painting, just some watercolour painting here. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> so my first time streaming in a while, I've had a couple of weeks off, so. Just getting back into it. Did have some technical issues to start with, but they 
seem to have sorted themselves out a little bit. trying to separate the colors normally I do like light and dark but this time I'm trying to see if I can get separate colors but also so like more blue and then I'll have like a more green and then like a um, like a red orange or a pink purple kind of deal and see how it goes that's what we're playing with tonight, colours. <laughs> they have enough shades of them all, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, no, that's that's me using them, yeah. Turn black in there to make it a bit darker. But if you add the blue with the black, it makes it a dark blue. Tricks. One of your nieces is getting so many art supplies for her birthday. Nice. Art supplies are always fun. <laughs> done all my Christmas shopping <laughs> you haven't painted in three months and now you're inspired noise I have not streamed in two weeks but I've been doing a lot of creative stuff off stream like um, not this Christmas tree here this is just a little bought one but I thought I'd get in the spirit but I have made myself a Christmas tree um, it was like a bought kit so you bought it with all the bits and pieces and then put it together. Um, but I did pouring paint on it. And I kind of love how it turns out. I've got a photo. Um, I'll show you guys a photo. so many pictures because I took all new pictures of things so this is the Christmas tree that I made with with my stepdad's help <laughs> uh, it doesn't really show this is what it looks like on and everything You can kind of see it. We used um, a coat hanger to put the lines through it. Um, I have a picture. Uh, I have a video of the paint, though. So it'll take a little bit. No, that's not the one. On. They're on the clouds, so they're taking a little bit to download. So... Okay. Now, now it's thinking. Oh, let me. 
me turn that light off. <laughs> See? Like, how good does it look? Sorry. My ring light's kind of in the way. But you get the picture. Like, it turned out so good. I'm quite happy with it. And what I love is that I've still used my 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 special style of painting where hidden inside is the come on stupid phone this is me trying to catch it's not working it's loading But you can see it lights up under the UV light anyway. It's just taking its time. That's what it looked like under the UV light. So you can see that the green lit up. Lit up. That's pretty cool. I love that. But yeah, so... That's kind of just what it looked like all done, all finished. With my few little hallmark ornaments on it. I need to get a stitch ornament for it, but... They didn't have any this year, so I've just got Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, and Dumbo. <laughs> Turn that one back on. I probably don't even need my ring light on tonight because I've got the side light on. Oh no. It helps the camera focus. <laughs> oh, whoops. There you go. Yeah, I like these watercolours. They're fun to play with. Those two are a bit too similar. Slightly different colour change to it. Zoomies love. <laughs> I'm assuming that you mean that's love on the zo on the zoomies because I know you're busy. the best part about this <laughs> ah it didn't work ragey but i know what you mean <laughs> what is that it looks like a turkey <laughs> Uh, what kind of artwork do you do, Bro Brom? Brom. <laughs> Wait, where's my bucket? Like it said, less than three. Peacock. <laughs> it's a peacock. <laughs> less than three deciduous trees sounds so much better than less than three peacock. <laughs> but it made me laugh. Tree. 
I did say it looked like a turkey. Less than three, deciduous tree. Yeah, it just sounds so much better, right? <laughs> Love you, Rachie. Izzy loves you too. She has um, been sitting in her box every day. You mostly do fantasy art, like painting or drawing, watercolour. Fantasy artwork is cool. I do abstract. So, stuff like this. Colours, all kinds of things. Pouring paints. A lot of things that don't require me to be specific because I, I am too much of a perfectionist that I can't actually draw. Like, I can't draw a face because it has to be perfect, otherwise I can't stand it. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I call myself an abstract artist. Just the digital art, nice, with Clip Studio. I've never heard of that one. That's cool, I mean, I guessed that you meant digital art, but you never know. That's not the color I wanted. I wanted this one. Painting is fun. I um I got some special heat resistant stuff to try and make some of my pouring paints into coasters which I'm excited about. So they take about four days to dry and then supposedly they take um uh four weeks before you can actually put something hot on them. So right now I'm waiting for them to be able to be tested with something hot. So, are you allowed anybody with you at all, Nix? Or still like the super tight um, COVID rules? That's the hardest part of having to have surgeries at the moment and stuff is um, having to go through it all on your own. When you may have normally had a partner. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but the distraction of someone else is nice. But you'll be fine. On my next artwork, I will for the first time paint my feeling. I never do that, and I've been doing that for a long time. Really, I paint my feelings a lot. <laughs> I guess, like, this isn't necessarily my feelings, but it helps me with my feelings to paint, so they always tie together some way. I have a painting. Um... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I have a painting called From the Heart, which is probably the one that was most about my feelings. And that was just a rough day for me, and I, art helped me express 
everything. So I do. Okay. Less than deciduous three tree. <laughs> That'd be Rachy. <laughs> Bloody peacock. Bloody peacock. <laughs> You're cracking me up, mate. Is it just day surgery? Hugs, 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 easy hugs, hugs. <laughs> no, easy hugs. <laughs> Love you, Ray. That's good. That is less stressful for sure. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so the next one I thought I might do, like, the yellow, red, orange kind of collection. Yeah, but that'll make things much, a little bit less stressful for you, Nix, having an only day surgery. Funky there. Now it's red.
for sure that tonight will be different. I promise you'll understand. As the moon rises, the dark sets upon us, and then I will take your hand. Tell you that I want you, and that I need you. Tell me that you understand, and I will tell you that I want you, and that I need you. Might need to change the water. I'm going to do the lines in between the tape with black. It doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to change the water. It's, it's not that dark, but I think just the moment it gets a little bit darker, it starts affecting the um, watercolour. Because, you know... Your water is what you're using to spread the paint. So it kind of has to be clear for it to really work properly. But yes, I do have... It was very expensive stuff, but I bought um, some stuff to put on coats. Uh, some of the paintings to make them into coasters and it should work because everything that I read online said to use this stuff and it's from a motor like a, um, it's from a place that sells car paints paints <laughs> so it'll be interesting apparently a bit similar But I have already learnt that I did things wrong, so... <laughs> For next time I will do things a bit differently. I'll show you what they look like now. It's been a... It's been a little bit oh hi Izzy I'm not coming to get you you're fine um here they are come on Izzy come on so these are the coasters with the protective stuff on them so you can kind of you can kind of tell that it's got kind of a thick coating on it that's probably the better shot you can see it's shiny and it's if I had nails you can tell but my what I forgot to do is sand all down the side before I painted it and there's some t sharp bits so I need to try and sand that before I put the cork on what are you doing um, but I've cut out the cork already, so some cork here that'll go on the back of them and we'll see what happens. They're a little bit bigger than your normal coaster. Izzy, get off! Because, like, here's your, here's your coaster size. You know what? It's not that much bigger, really. The only problem is there's definitely a big difference in height. Oh, I'm going to park my ass right here. <laughs> Go sit up there, baby. Good girl. Good girl, sit there. Yep. So, ooh, I forgot I bought a chocolate in. Have me some violet crumble. I think my camera's still doing silly buggers, but at least the headphones haven't cracked it again yet.
kind of look like flames, this color combination. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Have a good time zone. Day, evening, night, morning, whatever. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate it. I do post my finished products on my Discord as well. If you want to check that out before you disappear, I will post... Um, the finished product of tonight's stream in the discord in the create in the photo channel with for creativity <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'm sure you probably will probably try and have like an early night, although you'll probably be stressing, so it probably won't happen. But you always find when you've got a fast for for surgery, it's easier just to go to sleep, <laughs> or to at least try to go to sleep. What are you trying to do, Missy Moo? What are you going to do, Foofy? What are you trying to do, Foofy? How just like mixing the colors together it makes them a different color with these watercolors. Moya Surfer Dude said, Hey there, Smiley, it's great to see you. How is everything? Hey, Mackie Moya. 87, hi. Hey, Moya, how you doing? Things are meh here. Nah, they're okay. I'm just. Took a break from streaming because, like, the technical issues and stuff I was having was getting too much. 
and then I thought I had sorted them out and then I jumped on today after not even having been on the computer in nearly two weeks and all the technical issues are still there so <laughs> that part is stressful um, but other than that not bad I'm doing okay just here doing some painting I've been doing a lot of creativity offline lately so I thought I should do some on stream also none of my none of my games were updated because I hadn't opened Steam for two weeks <laughs> how are you doing Oops. Oh well. That's great to hear about the creativeness. I'm doing good, though life has been crazy. Mm. Yeah, I've just been... I made myself my Christmas tree, which is very... which turned out a lot cooler than I... a lot cooler than I thought. And then I've made some of my artworks into coasters, I've done some other paintings, but I don't really have money to spend, so I kind of gonna have to put a hold on that until I have a job. <laughs> Basically, that's why I've had to cancel all my subscriptions and stuff on Twitch because I haven't done any artwork lately either. Plus, need to get things done for Christmas. Yeah, cause like need kind of need like you know an income to do that kind of stuff. So I did all my Christmas shopping. Thankfully, I got that out of the way the moment we were allowed to go to the shops again. Because I was like, nope, I ain't gonna try and. Do Christmas shopping in the full supermarkets post COVID. <laughs> I totally understand that. Yay for being able to do that. Mm. Um, yeah. Kind of didn't work how I planned, oh well. Okay. I'll fix it. Um, yeah, so I got that all out of the way. That's not too bad. So right now I'm trying to do like blue shades, red, orange shades, and then I'll do greens, and then I'll do pinks and purples, and then the middle lines I'm going to do black, 
that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I also have, so I won't go too late because I have, um, a meet and greet for a job that I've applied for tomorrow after. Those colors sound cool. Tomorrow. I love the colors you've done so far. Yeah, so tomorrow after work, I've got like this meet and greet for this job that I've applied for, so... Um, I won't do too much because I don't want to be. You know, I want to be able to listen to that one properly and everything. Can't wait because I think it's going to involve Good a luck. lot of... I hope it goes well. Yeah, it's just like a meet and greet because it's like a new academy type thing. It's, um... A company is trying to get um, women to do these kind of roles that are not normally generally a lot of women in the field so it's a specific academy just for um, women and I think that's kind of cool it's very innovative <laughs> so I'm looking forward to learning about it and like why and you know why they've decided now and things like that so it'll be cool it'll be cool to go to and and hear what's said also i think they're gonna have um some of the females that already work with them get up and you know talk about things about the job so that'll be good too i'm excited but it's a very out of the box job, but it should be good. That is cool and a good initiative for a business to do. Oh, 100%. It's a, yeah, it's just like, it's super out of the box though. Like, I don't think people would imagine that this would be the kind of job that I, I would go for. So it's kind of fun, funky. It's kind of cool. <laughs> We'll see what happens. So, yeah, I'm excited about that and we'll just see what happens. I have to do a one minute presentation on myself, which... I'm not staying online too much today as we are in the middle of a storm, depression, and already had a power cut earlier. Oh no. No worries, I'm not going to be on too late. I'm going to finish this and that'll be it. Which, I mean, it could take, it takes a while to do these, so it could take a while, but who knows. <laughs> Hopefully not. But yeah, I've taken, I'm going to leave, I'm going to finish work an hour early tomorrow to just like chill before I have to go to this thing to just take some time. To like relax and get out of my head and yeah so I've applied for so many jobs over the last couple of weeks it's like the moment I had an end date or I had confirmation that I was gonna have an end date I went into like full-on apply 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 <laughs> so you know I mean you got to get yourself out there so that's the way you gotta do it. 
but this Sounds job... Sounds like a good plan, getting but... your thoughts together before going into it. Yeah, but this job has just really piqued my interest. I think that it would be a great job for me, so... I just... I'm excited. Except for, except for like the one minute presentation. Who, nobody's ever excited about having to do a one minute presentation on themselves. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> that excites nobody. <laughs> That's cool. Absolutely, I hate that part. <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough to sell yourself at interviews. Nah, it'll be fine. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm nervous excited is the correct <laughs> wording. <laughs> So how's has work been busy for you? Moya? For my current job, I really pushed myself to get it, as I'm not usually like that. Yeah. So this job is actually to um, be like a garbage truck driver. So like completely out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> Work has been good, though a bit quiet I think due to people thinking about Christmas and the virus again. Yep, <laughs> makes sense.
Yeah, there's a convention, or an event, I should say. Oz Comic Con, as it's called. Um, is on this weekend. And my friends are like, yeah, I'm going to go. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think I should take the chance. Like, it would be great to go out and see all these friends and stuff. But I'm also like, um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to start going to interviews and, and get a job. So I, I can't really put myself at risk. And then be like sidelined because I can't go to interviews because I mean I isolation or something. So yeah. We'll see. That sounds awesome that there is a comic con but yes I totally get that too especially when job hunting during these times. It's the same here with whether to go to Christmas parties. Mm. Well I only really have my family Christmas parties so that's fine. And my Chris, my family Christmas party with my dad, which is always the weekend before Christmas, um, is the day after I finish work. So I'm not going to really be wanting to really celebrate because I think I'll be a little bit sad because, you know, it's not my choice to be finishing this job, etc. Um, and it is sad. I think this, the harder part is that it's not like leaving. It's not like leaving any other job because um, we've been. Um, we haven't worked together for the last two years with COVID, so it's like. We went from working together every single day to working at home and talking to each other a couple of days a week on the phone. And then we're never going to have that chance to work in the office together again. And that's a bit sad. So there it's looking so far. The so next one will be green.
Are you still streaming? I mean, I haven't been watching kind of anybody lately because um, I've only been working off my laptop when I'm actually working, like my work laptop, so I don't have the second screen to just like chilling people's streams and for the last two weeks I haven't turned my home computer on at all. <laughs> Back from the dead. Just, you just started back up? Nice! I have to try and catch you. How are you? been gone for a few months. Yeah. I remember seeing you stream and you were playing a board game and then I think I raided you once and then I had to sort of run straight afterwards and then I kind of stopped seeing you about. Figured life just got busy. Uh, I don't think that's a, my kind of game. I have a friend that plays it a lot, but I haven't really played it, and I have a feeling it's not my kind of game. <laughs> I don't have it anyway. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If you're back to streaming, does that mean things are, um, yeah, Maggie plays. That's who I meant. <laughs> well, I assume we're still, yeah. So I hope things are getting better. Oops, this is the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting colour green. I like it. Stable. Well, I guess stable is... Better than unstable. I guess. I get it. It's been a bit crazy here the last couple of months. To For sure, that's why I'm back. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad you're back. It's good to see you. I'm just, um, doing some paintings, mainly because I hadn't turned my laptop on in two weeks and all my games, like, needed updates. <laughs> and, um, and also I thought painting, sort of, once it's finished, I can end stream. Because, um, Tomorrow after work I have like a meet and greet for a job that I've applied for so um, I really want to be a hundred percent focused for that because it's kind of a really exciting opportunity so now you're here I don't mind you can annoy me I'm just painting so what I'm gonna do is blue blue colors red and orange green and then pink and purple in the base and then in the lines I was going to do black and just see what it looks like. 
And then at the end I splash colours over the top because that's my style. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. I've done, I finished another paint by numbers which is going to be a Christmas, a Christmas present for someone in my family. So I needed it ready for next weekend so that's why I kind of rushed it. <laughs> I didn't rush it. I didn't rush the actual painting, I just did it more quicker than like being like, oh I'm bored, I'll start doing uh, paint by numbers. It was more every little break that I felt was like, oh I'll take a little break from the work that I'm doing and do some of this, um, and do some of this paint by number. <laughs> Well, I'm glad things are maybe not better, but getting there. The first steps. First steps are important. <laughs> Staying alive is your main goal. Are you talking about in hunt or just in general? <laughs> Everybody seems to be going on this hunt thing at the moment. General. <laughs> It's a good question to ask because you never know. <laughs> Oopsies, didn't mean that. Get rid of it there. I've been um been watching the new season of Lost in Space today. Because I'm weird and I have to go back and watch season one and two before I can, like, I have to go back and watch previous seasons before I watch new seasons. I'm weird. But it's fine. It works for me and that's all that matters. Uh, I have not watched Arcane. I haven't even heard of it. What's it about? Bro, it's <laughs> so... What's it about? Okay. Is that on Netflix or Prime or one of those Bandango services? Yeah, Netflix. Nice. Some, it's some legal. Okay, I don't know what that means. Sounds interesting. I'll have to like read the synops synopsis of it or whatever. <laughs> the description of it. <laughs> Currently I'm watching Lost in Space because I've been hanging out for this season. <laughs> like I literally re-watched re it recently but I'm like I'm going to re-watch it again because there's a new season. <laughs> And I'm always funny when it's a new season of a show. I'm like on the end of my seat with with anticipation. Which is probably why I tend to watch shows three or four times over. <laughs> I read somewhere that um, people with anxiety have a habit of doing that. Because um, the 
anxiety of watching a new show is no longer there if you're watching it for say the second or third time i'm just gonna turn this light off that's fine this, my face was a bit white <laughs> did help give me some colour here, but it's fine. So how are you guys doing over there with um, COVID stuffs? Hope everything is not too bad over there in Perth. To be honest, I don't even know what our numbers are like anymore because I'm just over it. I'm double, I'm vaccinated and I'm allowed to go and do stuff. But I'm still hesitant. I'm still hesitant to do some stuff. Like, as I was just saying to Moya Surfer do that there's a, um, Oz Comic Con this weekend. And a couple of my friends are going, and I'm like, oh, yeah. There's actually someone there that I would like to meet, but I don't think I can take the chance of going. Mainly because I'm currently in the process of... Well, I still have a job at the moment, but I'm not going to have one for much longer. So I'm in the process of looking for a job. And I don't want to have to, you know be trying to interview for a job and then have the issue of being in quarantine because somebody was there and had it or whatever so that's impressive that you guys haven't haven't had it covid free is good we are definitely not covid free but we're like 90 percent vaccinated or at least 80 percent vaccinated <laughs> that part's good considering how long it took us to like get the vaccine it's good <laughs> and you know like I feel safe going to the shops and stuff like that because you have to show your vaccine certificate and things like that to even get into the shops these days so you know that if you're going into a shop everybody in there is vaccinated no worries Had to show my vaccine certificate when RSVPing to this uh, job thing for tomorrow too. Oh, splashed everywhere. It's kind of cool though. That colour's just merged into that colour though. We don't even do that here, but it sounds a very good idea. What don't you do? Vaccine certificates? Um, so in Melbourne especially, I don't know if it's everywhere, I don't think it's everywhere in Australia, but definitely here, you have to... Um, you have to scan QR codes to get into places and then on the app which is Service Victoria which is this fancy app here you go check in and you scan the QR code see scan the QR code and then next thing it'll um, say show your um, certificate so you just go to the person at the door not in all so grocery shops don't have it but all like retail shops have it they're supposed to be doing it not all are doing it because you know they're a bit slack or not following the rules or whatever but showing I... vaccine certificates to enter into shops yeah i think it's a smart idea does make me feel much more comfortable doing stuff, that's for certain. Put my 
little bit of yellow there. We have an app for COVID which we did have to scan codes, but not so much now. Yeah, now ours is all still there. In it. trying to get that a light green and then I pushed the water in and it was dark the water was dark it came out of the pen it doesn't look dark in there it just had a bit let's dry it up a little bit there Yeah, I, it does make me feel a bit safer having all the QR code stuff and and that. Hey, C. Good luck. Rach sent Izzy and I presents, the Christmas hats that I posted on um, Instagram today. And Izzy's been sitting in the box that she sent them down in every day. Just chilling in their little box. And it's so cute. I send Rach a picture like every day of her just chilling in, in the box. <laughs> Funny cat, that one. Yeah, they're very cool.
It's one thing I'm gonna miss if I go back. If I go to this, if I get this job, or if I get any job where it's not working from home, I'm gonna miss Izzy because I spent like the last two years with just her as my companion. So I think that's gonna be difficult. What will I do with myself? I will miss her so much. <laughs> Oh, that will be really strange. Yep. She probably couldn't care less, but it'll be hard for me. I'll definitely miss my girl, that's for sure. I wish I had that option of working from home then the past lockdowns wouldn't have been so bad. Unfortunately, it's not really an option with your job. Your job is quite physical. <laughs> it's a bit hard to work from home. another thing the job that I'm applying for is one that wouldn't be affected with lockdowns and things like that either which is in some ways a relief like I mean yeah they'll be affected if there was more lockdowns to some degree but I just mean the work would still go ahead because it kind of has to get done <laughs> Yes, I have to physically go to work, but it was tough not working as the longer the Luftians went on I didn't know if I had a job afterwards. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I worked the whole way through lockdown, even had to take a pay cut, and now I don't have a job, and now I won't have a job, so... Like, that sucks. Totally for sure. So I can't ever think that your job's safe because everything could easily just go to shit. <laughs>
I can't decide, I can't pick which one belongs in that hole. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops, Daisy. Oh well. All right, is green done? And then I'll have to go change the water again. There you go. 
And the next one will be pink and purple. So I'll go change the water. Very cool, I'm liking the green. Mm, it does look good. It's a matter of putting... Oh, shit. <laughs> like an old lady. Got up, everything hurt. Um, it's a matter of like... Putting the colours in a way um, that it doesn't just look like one colour. That there's all the different shades. But sometimes they merge together and look very similar. But it still looks cool. Supposed to be able to suck water up this by squeezing it, but it never works. Oops, put a bit too much water in there that time, but actually <laughs> went in easier. <laughs> Enough. Rid of soaking wet paper down. Oh, I knocked the bin over. <laughs> I had to buy a long sleeve shirt for this thing tomorrow. Health and safety reasons. <laughs> oh, crunch. Was a bit of a loud crunch than I thought. Sorry. I love your top. Ooh. It's Milan. <laughs> Very cool.
know how well this is gonna go. I'm gonna be fine. I just know that I use um, blue a lot to make like a darker purple. Already quarter to, I mean, half past eleven. <laughs> I'll just do a quick painting. Never happens. I got to see my stepbrother on the weekend, which was kind of cool. I haven't seen him since September last year. Lots of... All the lockdowns and everything have made it really hard. But he dropped in on his way out on the weekend, so it was good to see him. That is cool. Yeah. It's just weird because there's been lockdowns was so long and everything and it's weird because he's just for me, just like just a weird thing for me. Um he's Um, due to have a baby in the new year and he's just recently got engaged and I find it really weird just personally um, that I've never met her but with um, lockdowns and not being able to catch up and stuff it's been really hard so it's not really particularly anyone's fault at all just It is what it is, but it's, I feel, I feel bad that I don't know her, you know, does that make sense? I don't know. So hopefully you'll be able to meet her soon. Because she's gonna be the mother of a future niece or nephew. I can get that. <laughs> Actually, I know what they're having. Because he, I said no when he said, I know what we're having if you'd like to know. And I went, no, don't tell me. Um, but then he posted something on Instagram and I was like, damn, now I know. <laughs> it's all right. 
just it doesn't mean much to me necessarily Uh-oh. Oopsie easy. <laughs> That's actually looking pretty good. I was wondering how the purple will look, but I kind of like it. I wasn't sure if it, like, wouldn't turn out. I really like how the pink and purple is turning out. Mm, me too. I wasn't sure how it would go, but it looks good.
Oh, so, um, completely off topic. My auntie over, um, is writing a book, which I think is really cool. Oh, sorry, she's written it. I rang my dad the other week and I was like, talk about other stuff, of course. And then I was like, oh, I see Auntie Lever's writing a book. And dad's like, well, apparently she's already written it and it's getting published. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. It'll be interesting to read. I did kind of, I read the blurb of it, and uh, it, it sounds good. That sounds really cool. What kind of genre is it? Um, uh, it's a biography, I guess. Um, I think, um... Can you never find something when you want to? That's called um, Island Girl to um, what is it? Island? Wait, there it is. Island Girl to Airline Pilot. <laughs> That sounds interesting. Yeah. I, um... Although I read the blurb and I was like, it just makes me... It feels... It seems weird to me. I get it. That's what it's about, but... Um... Um... Where is it here? No, that's not it. Damn it, it's gone again. <laughs> Meh. It was like, you know small island girl moved across to Australia and blah 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 yeah but there was a line in it that's like a black female pilot and I was like I don't know why but it made me uncomfortable it made me feel a bit weird reading that and I think it's just because I've never thought of her that way she's just always been my auntie so like I've never thought of her any other way so when I read that line I was like it felt a bit weird <laughs> I don't know, it probably doesn't make sense, but it just was a bit odd. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's about. Yeah, and she's definitely come a long way over the years. But yeah, I said to Dad, I just found that little, that little line there a bit weird and I didn't know why and Dad's like, probably because you've never really thought of her as being any different. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Hey Ulrich, how you going? Getting there with this painting, looks a bit funky. How you doing mate?
I'm well, great to see you. Thank you. I just took a little bit of a break, but I almost, I almost just cancelled my stream because right off the bat, I had like tech issues and I was like, no, uh, now I remember why I went on a break. Everything hates me, but it's settled down now, so. My headphones kept like coming like this sh really loud sh sound where I just had to throw them off because it was so loud. But yeah, seems to have settled down now. You're well. I'm glad you're well though. Hey Missy, what you doing? Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm just I'm going blue, red, green, purple kind of color mix today and I like it. I wasn't sure how the purple mix would turn out. But it's definitely working. I have enough purple colors. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough purple colors, but you definitely can see it's a purple pink mix, so that's good. Yeah, things are sort of settling down a little bit, but I had to take a break just to like get away. Not just tech issues, but you know, stuff happening with work and It sort of was getting overwhelming and it was hard to not let it show on stream. So I went, I think it's just better to take a break. All right, there we go. How does that look? So I'm going to do black in the middle, maybe black and gray. And then that'll be it. There's the black there. Fantastic. <coughs> Thank you. Pretty. <laughs> Um, I might use a bit of blue like that. Like we'll see. Just going off at once, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you find my streams relaxing. That's good. I don't know if this is going to work. That doesn't look like it's like any different tones in there, so I'd say that it's just gonna end up looking like pure black and no tones, but anyway. We can do that. Oh. 
So do you think I should do make it tonal or make it just all black and see? I think all black. Mm. I just kind of wanted to go with the watercolors theme. Because if I wanted it like completely all black, I would have used acrylic paint. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just feel like tonal matches the rest of the painting, that's all. That's fair. That was all. So it's a little tonal, but not too bad, not too much. So it's probably fine. There we go. Kind of like it. All right. That's it. For that, let me get rid of the color in there because it's not clear water. Very it's cool. purple. Should really, it's December. I should really have like Christmassy, Christmassy tunes on, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'll look for that for next time. 
So yeah. All right. Next up is some paint. Some black and white paint, and then we we do the splodgies. The splodgies. up all that paint oh you know what let's use some of this there we go white and black that way it's already it's my pouring paint so it's already liquidy <laughs> Mm, saves me. Have to make it liquidy. <laughs> and then I need this. And then I have to wait for it to dry before I put stuff on it. So, anybody want to talk about anything? What's up? What are you guys thinking? What? What is going on when we wait for that to dry? Because I can't bother getting the hair dryer out. <laughs> I have um these ones, which I'm trying to make into coasters. So they've got a heat-resistant coating on them now. It's just got to wait four weeks for it to 100% fully do its thing and I can actually use it for hot drinks and stuff. Fantastic. I'm quite happy. And there's a cork bottoms for the cork to go on the bottom and we got four coasters they're just a bit thick but I've got um and I need to, I needed to sand them before I painted them so the sides and the bottom need to be sand sanded but the sides don't actually need to have the heat resistant stuff on it so it's okay if I sand them and I can just paint them black later I painted them black but I also could have painted them gold. Gold would probably would have looked better. But some of the some of them have a lot of gold. Like this one has a lot of gold in it. So I was like, oh, black would look alright. Like maybe I should have done black and then gold rim around the edge. But anyway, live and learn. I just need to try and sand. So you can kind of see... There's a couple of rough bits on the side where it's sticking out. You see that one? That way, I think. There's a rough, rough dot there. It's trial and error. Yep. Exactly. Thanks, Uric. Just because I, um, there's a recycle place not far from me where you can go in and get, like, 
you know, leftover tiles that people have donated or, you know, I got some cork that I cut these circles out of, like little bits of rubber, bottle caps, things like that, like heaps of stuff. So I got a bunch of um, ceramic tiles and I thought, oh, they'll be great for coasters. And I literally got this huge box of stuff for 10 bucks, including some big bits of wood. Like some big bits of wood that I thought, well, they'll be cool instead of canvases. They're a bit heavy, that's all. Mm -mm. The backing that will go on them is cork. So that's the backing. These coasters are actually made out of PVC. So PVC piping that has been cut. And yeah. a coaster I have the size is not too bad but the width it's quite high but it should be all right love that coaster that one or the Ghostbusters one so this this is my set of coasters one Two, three, and four. The Ghostbusters as well as yours, of course. <laughs> I have a whole set of Ghostbusters coasters. Ratchet said, peacock, peacock, T-Rex, sauropod, peacock, <laughs> lobster, lobster, peacock, peacock, smiley 70 Izzy. <laughs> a tree I just love that it was less than three peacock <laughs> That's hilarious I was just showing everybody my coasters that's true Ulrich <laughs> make me feel better <laughs> about the little inconsistencies but yeah this is my first go so I don't think I'm doing too bad thank you it does look like a tree less than three peacocks is probably a good thing <laughs> yes well you know what I'd prefer peacocks to the cassowary Moya Surfertude said your coasters are unique and doesn't matter how thick they are no have you seen my coasters, Rach? I think you have. These are the ones I've put the protective coating on to become coasters. So we've got a set of four. Ratchet said, 100%. <laughs> got my cork back in, ready to go on them. I have. Happy face. We're just waiting for this to dry. What do you think of that, Rach? Goes that way. <laughs> oh no. Poop, bugger bum, poop. Bugga bum poop shit. 
It's okay, I fix it, I fix it. It doesn't look like it's... It doesn't look too bad. It's it like looks... a jungle and a desert in between two space galaxies. <laughs> yeah. I put my hand to see if it was dry and the black wasn't dry and it smudged into the green. So... The purple actually Worm looks holes. really good. Different colored wormholes. It's a good idea. Oh, I'm like, I knew I bought a packet of chips in here. I'm all about eating tonight, sorry. <laughs> no peacocks. I like that. <laughs> Moya Surfer Dude said, that green really pops, I can't stop looking at it lol. Mm. The closer I get, the, the light shines on it. <laughs> Jesus. probably call that more autumn but that's not really summer but those are autumn colors but I get what you mean yeah Ulrich it makes sense I'm just waiting it for it to dry before I start flicking paint on it Same for me, Smiley, the red more autumn colour. Mmm. Maybe I should have done it more... Reds and purple, reds, pinks and purples, and... Yellow and oranges here, and then that would have been... Yellow and oranges, summer. Ratchet said, my one. seasonal color spectrum is messed up because of toothbrushes at work. We change by season, as you do, but it goes green in summer, blue in spring, orange in winter, and red in autumn. It doesn't make sense. I get the reason, but I think blue for winter makes sense. No, it doesn't, but company wide, that's the directive work instruction. Oh no, I get, yeah. The color spectrum is weird. <laughs> I thought it was just the colors we ordered, but that is actually a work instruction. Mm. There you go. Down. 
had to make sure the white splashes go um, into the black paint areas or else it won't have any splashes in those areas at all because the black won't super show. I actually think it looks better when I just put a little bit of water with paint. The pouring paint is maybe a little bit too runny. I wouldn't have thought so though, but oh well. The black might be better. feel it going down my wrist Yeah, that sucks, Rach. Well, let's try add some black and see what happens. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not black enough. It's too watered down. But if I do pouring paints, it works fine. It's weird, eh? I didn't want to open new tubes, but I also don't want to have to um, um, get it from the big um, these things, the big tubs of paint, because I only need such a little amount. <laughs> Mr. Chair. <laughs> so, for those who missed what I was just doing there, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered mix. I wanted to try the pouring paints. instead of having to open new um, paints but the pouring paints uh, there's not enough paint and when all else fails there's Izzy in a box to make me smile oh yeah Izzy friggin loves her box <laughs> I send you photos like every day of her sitting in her box she loves it. It's so cute. Apparently, I am just that good of an auntie. Lol. Yep, yep you gave her a box. She's happy. <laughs>
that's better. Flick, flick, flick. Yep. Helping, D. <laughs> Appreciate it. I wonder where my teacup is. Oh no, don't, don't. I hope you haven't put it somewhere. To me, to make sure that my um, jeans are under the desk so I don't flick paint all over them. Cup of tea, not a teacup. It's a bloody great stainless steel travel mug, not oh. elegant. <laughs> I did buy some sugar soap wipes to try and get the paint off the wall from previous attempt, from previous splatterings. Never put breath. <laughs> yeah, no. Near brush water. No. Definitely not. <laughs> Izzy thinks it's pretty tasty. Lol. Got the tea. Is that what the box is? I didn't look at it other than I saw it had coffee written on it. <laughs> no, the paint water. Oh, yeah. She does. She likes drinking it. It's a coffee parts box. I order my number four coffee filter papers from them. Mm. Alright, I think that's enough. What do you think? Okay, that's worse than I was thinking. I was just thinking that you accidentally Speckles. put your Moya brush. Surfer dude said, "Love it." I was thinking more that like you accidentally put your brush into your drink, but actually drinking your brush water that would be worse. <laughs> might need to get out the um, hair dryer to dry it. Ulrich oh, said, bit. wonders if he has a voice. Yes. You Wood. do? You have Brian? Ratchet said, I want to see the flamethrower. Yeah, but I might catch on fire. You can't really see it, but it's there. <laughs> it's not a flamethrower, but you know what I mean. Yeah.
It kind of is a flamethrower, though. I think it's running out of gas, but I tried to fill it. And I don't think it worked. It's covered in paint, anyway. Because I used it on my Christmas tree. I'll show you some of the artworks I've done <laughs> that are over here. Because I did a couple of test shots before I did the Christmas tree. So... We have these ones. This block of wood. Kind of love how it turned out. And then we have this one. My surfer dude said, nice. So. And we have that one, which is just on this like bit of metal. That might be all right. Ratchet said, block of wood. That's me. <laughs> this could be all right for a coaster as well. It's nice and thin, but it's a bit big. Moya Surfer Dude said, love the colors on that one. See? It's a little bit big for a coaster. But it, it's probably more thin like a normal coaster. But yeah. That's the colors that are on my Christmas tree that I made. And then this one... Ratchet said, those things you put your pots onto when they're hot? Yeah, but they're a bit small. My surfer dude said, so extra large coaster for a teapot. Yeah, they're called, um, something. Tri, tri, uh, tri, uh, trip it, or oh, I don't know. Can't think of the name of it. So this one, see all the circles? That's come from the uh, blowtorch. But do you know what I did with this one? I did not pour paint on it. When I did my Christmas tree, the card, the paper underneath where I did the Christmas tree was covered in paint and I literally went <laughs> and then put the flame on it and to see what would happen and that's what happened and I kind of like it. <laughs> And then there are a couple more here. So there's that one, which didn't really work out. And then this was another batch. Very cool effect. This was another Ratchet batch. Said, I hope you made those noises while you were doing it. <laughs> this is another one that I tried. And this one, because accidentally, this, this one I dropped and it landed upside down on that one. So it fucked it up basically so uh, instead because these are just little bits of metal and you can actually see the metal coming through in spots so what I thought was I'll leave them with paint on them and I'll just use them again when I'm testing next time so yeah those are my three my three Christmas tree testers and that's my favorite I think but the Christmas tree looks amazing. And then the color combination on the other ones I used for this one. <laughs> Pardon me. So this palette was uh, Feisty Dreams' color palette. So I decided to try and you can look closely at it. But this is just a little hexagon piece of plywood from Kmart. And when I do it on plywood, I think because the paint soaks into the wood, it, um, it dries really fast. Whereas when I do it on canvas or those plastic discs, the PVC discs, it takes like three weeks for them to dry. So with this one, the fact that it's all breaking up, that's because I put the blowtorch on it. But also you can see this pattern. Maybe. See the pattern in the side. So I started up the top and I let it ro roll down. But I put the flame at the top which created bubbles and then of course when the paint stretched down that's why it looks like there's big Textures. circles yeah I was just trying to explain the 
the fact that when it's stretched down, it's actually big circles because the the um, the blowtorch created the bubble pattern. And then when I held it up and let the paint run down, it stretched those bubbles. And that is how that happened. So let's see if I can get the paint, the tape off. Oh, I just, this is the chair that I got from work. I keep slipping off the bum of it. No. Damn it. Oh well. The bit of a chunk of the purple came off. My bad. Need to learn to go slower, I think. That wasn't too bad, though. Look, this one's getting worse and worse as it goes. There's a, it's a bit chunky, so it's not the greatest, but it looks alright. Doesn't have to be perfect anyway. It might still be a little bit too wet. Probably what it is. didn't work. Shit. Bugger. Managed to save it off the tape. <laughs> not working so I pretty much just fucked it up <laughs> put some glue over it later it'll look all right
When it's dry, I'll go over it with some glue. It should hold it in place. Well, that one came off all right. Here's me going, oh, slow should work better, and then it just, buddy. Quicker worked better. <laughs> Anyway, getting there. So the black lines are pretty effed up. <laughs> My bad. You can still get the gist of it. Makes sense, right? I think the color difference has actually really worked out well, though. Just a couple of issues in there with. Ulrich said, That's cool, smile. It would just be better without all the holes. Without all the torn pieces. Moya Surfer Dude said, awesome. Ratchet said, I like wobbly lines. Where the frick's my glue? I grabbed everything from my work office. So my drawers are just full of shit now. Like, there's some cotton gloves. Because I had to buy my own cotton gloves because my hands are so freaking small. That they didn't fit into the ones that work bought. Ooh! And my fidget thing. It sounds like bubble wrap and everything. It's not a fidget spinner, it's a fi fidget pretend to pop bubble wrap bubbles. There's my glue stick. You guys, thanks you guys, you make me feel good when I F things up. <laughs> Damn it, I just lifted the whole fucking thing up. Yes, but did you go an entire day with an extra sock in your pants? Well, it depends on wearing your pants, but no, I haven't. <laughs> It was in the pocket, I think, or underneath it on the inside. I'm not sure. It fell onto the floor, and that was the first I was aware of it. And today I'm wearing it. Take that sock. That's hilarious.
Yeah, so not gonna work. <laughs> Just like the way you like, TAKE THAT SOCK! You hitch a ride in my pocket, well, now I'm gonna wear you. Damn it! Fucking thing keeps coming up. Yeah, fuck you. I give up. <laughs> Itty bitty piece of paper, you got the better of me. It tried to wear me first. Fair is fair. <laughs> mm, that's funny. You tell that sock. Put the naughty paper in a sock and wear it. I was actually tempted to just paint them black. Paint the whole strip black. But I'd have to wait until it's dry. And I can put a ruler down on top of the paint. I think that could work. What do you think? It would be a little bit like the other artwork I have where it goes and this type of pattern in the background. So no, I've never had a hitchhiked, a hitchhiking sock before. But you know what I absolutely hate? When you're out somewhere. Oh, my camera's gone. No, whatever. We'll go here. Oh, you can just see my piece of paper. What a shame. Hi. <laughs> um... Trez confused. Trez confused? Um, what was that? That's what I was saying. Um, what I hate is like when you go out somewhere, when you're out from home and like you don't like carry a spare bar, bra around but you're out somewhere and the fucking wire comes up and starts poking you. <laughs> that happens to me more often than it should. You know what I mean? Obviously not Ulrich, but the rest of you, you probably understand what I mean about the wire. Come on. I can't be the only female that's had the problem with the wire trying to escape my bra. Moya Surfer Dude said, yes. Yes, yeah, see? Not the only one. 
Alright, so anyway. Um. Ratchet said, yes, me too. Yeah, see? Other than the dodgy lines, I actually like it as is. Uh, I just dropped it on the camera. Moya Surfer Dude said, beautiful. Just dodgy lines. Look at them. Look at them down there. Look at that little piece of paper trying to escape that I've glued down. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should just paint them black. What do you guys think? I think the white kind of breaks it up, though. Thanks for being here, Ostro. I like the white. Yeah, me too. I thought you were talking about my painting and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Bras. Chat's over there. Um, what was that? You like the white? Okay, okay, I'll leave it as it is then. Sometimes they snap in the middle, but also who carries a needle and thread? <laughs> Good fix for when you get home. <laughs> I'm always like, Mom, fix my bra. <sighs> Thanks for welcoming me back, guys. Oh, wait. Most underwires have a hole in the end to help stop that. Stitch through the hole and that will help keep the... What? I did not know that. My wires have all had like a plastic cap on them. But they still poke through and hit you in the boob. I love that you are like fully into this conversation. With advice that the rest of us didn't know. Or I didn't know that anyway. Hugs back. All right. I was thinking that we'll just go easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and go over and say hello to life because it's been a while. But he's playing seven days to die, so it's probably like the complete opposite of what my stream has been. But I am too tired because I wasn't going to have a long night to really look around for someone to raid. <laughs> oh, pardon me. So thanks all for being here on my return to streaming stream after two weeks break. I love you guys. Thanks for... Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate your support. Um, oh, wait, yep. You can chuck in the raid message. Reachy, 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 reachy. Or maybe not. I can do it. I can do it because sometimes I forget. There we go. because sometimes I forget to copy and paste it too. Just take out the Smiley 70 raids if you do not have a subscription, which I haven't been here for a while. <laughs> it's okay. No worries, Rachy Poos. I thought I would do it just in case. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Thanks, Rach. And I love you guys. Bye.